is exactly what you think of a dinosaur. Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. Today, there's nothing really unusual going on here at the Reptarium, just kind of the normal stuff, you know what I mean. What, what, what the heck is this going? What's, what are you doing? Well, you know, I hear there's some trout in here, but look for some. Look for some trout. Actually, Bruce is in here cleaning stuff up because we're actually really excited. We've got our friends from the Ohio Fish Rescue coming this coming weekend to bring some fish that we're gonna put in with Bowser. So we wanna clean the tank up. We also need to take the water level from down here to probably up here because we're gonna have some catfish, some other type of stuff like this. We're hoping that the fish get along with Bowser and vice versa. We're just gonna have to keep a close sign it but we are super excited about that for sure and guess what Eric what's that I am heading to Jeff Ronnie from Boa Files place no way I know right is that cool actually today I'm heading to Forrest my good friend we're gonna go hang out with some monitor lizards some other stuff like that see what he's got going on I think he might have a special package that we're unboxing while I'm there I'm super excited about that not sure that that's gonna happen but let's hope that that does then we're gonna just play with his monitors and then we're heading out to Missouri to go check out Boa Files Missouri stuff. it's called Missouri so we're actually gonna go to Jeff's place again I've really seen very little as far as videos from his place so I'm really excited yeah. to see it and be able to bring you guys on the journey it is certainly a collection that is amazing one of the best boa collections in the world so regardless today I've got to drive five hours to Forest place go hang out with him drive six hours to Jeff's place hang out with him and then drive all the way back so it's gonna be a busy four to eight hours for me but uh you guys got it under control Heck yeah hold the fort down hold the fort you down got it. Uh, I expect lots of eggs when I get back okay for sure all right what do you guys say we get on the road and uh, do this five hour drive. Just got off the phone with Forrest and sure enough that cool package that he has coming in just arrived so he said he'd wait till I get there to unbox it so we're gonna get to see a really cool animal I'm super excited about it that's for sure we still have a few hours left to go and you know traveling like this I always get excited because you never know what's gonna happen on the other side I've never been to Jeff Ronnie's place it's a cool boa place obviously I always have a great time at Forrest place plus this new little animal is gonna be awesome so I couldn't be happier with it and I'm on cloud nine just enjoying this beautiful day in this absolutely incredible drive Set to stop and get some gas guys so made it to forest and uh that package has arrived so we're gonna open up it's gonna be really dope i mean look at the place it's looking so good of course we got my friend steve and everyone else with us here steve is here uh, you up? guys are finally getting this place together right yeah no yeah. no no it's looking really good though so we're gonna open that box it's gonna be absolutely incredible and then we're gonna feed some monitors and uh just kind of have a look around before we head out to st louis Forrest is about to open this box uh absolutely cool and all the reptile people that are going to be here socializing this animal are here they don't even know what it is so let's Let's just open it up and let's get right to it. This is one of the major moments of, of my animal keeping life right here. Like oh this my is, gosh. This is very, very exciting. All right, well, let's do this. Let's see here. There we go. Yeah. It's got the cryo pack in there. Yeah, it's got the I talked to you guys. Cryo there. pack's the way to go. Yep. All right. All right. So, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, like, this is, this is definitely one of the more exciting moments ever. This is just. I can't wait to see this animal. I can't wait to see how big it is. That's that's really a big part of this. Uh, very few people have ever had the opportunity to work with this species from a hatchling. Okay. So, uh, all right. So, look at this. Oh my God! It is unbelievably beautiful. Of course, it's a little croc monitor, a little baby. Yeah. We have everybody here that's not afraid to take a bite because that could happen. And even as a hatchling, these guys have razor sharp teeth, but. If something like that's gonna happen, now is definitely the time that we want that to happen, so. Yeah, you want these guys to get habituated to handling when they're young, so that when they're bigger, they don't ever do something. So, we're just gonna see what's gonna happen here, and just kinda play hot potato, I guess, with this uh, croc monitor. Oh my gosh. How old is this, man? Okay, when I seen the pictures of them, I thought, you know, we, we got uh, Kilo, my favorite animal, my favorite reptile, 
last year as a hatchling and she was probably twice if not three oh times gosh. this size so this animal can't be more than a month or two old oh my gosh that is crazy and of course these guys are getting to the point where they're going to shut them down soon not import them so whatever's going to be here is going to be here definitely considered the most intelligent lizard of all of the lizards i mean just take a look at that gorgeous animal right there oh my gosh and it seems to be chilling pretty good right Good. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, a it's, good sign. it's it's so amazing getting to work with them from hatchlings. I mean, it's a, it's a completely different animal. I mean, when you work with, with long-term captives or wild-caught, totally, totally neurotic, right. yeah. the most terrifying reptile you could ever work with, where Kilo, for example, is just literally puppy tame. So not only is it great to have an animal that's socialized, it's not so dangerous to work with, but also, you this know, from a amazing. reproductive aspect, raising a healthy animal aspect, yeah getting them as a hatchling is just a huge, huge step in the right direction, so. Oh, that's crazy. I, I'm so excited that we got a chance to see this little dude, man. Holy cow, yes. that is amazing. It's kind of chilling out now a little I bit, I know, it's good. totally chilling yeah. now. You can see how quickly kind of it goes from being like kind of defensive, trying to run away, to all of a sudden just being very curious and wanting to kind of be handled. Look at yeah. that. If we can keep from restricting his movement and just kind of do it on his terms, that's the key to building those threads of trust and uh, having a good relationship with this animal. Just look at the colors though. This is the sarong locality. Okay. So, you know, definitely some some just beautiful coloration. The uh, the Marukis and, and the Jayapuras don't have quite as, as bright of circles on their back and just, so the colors, colors out of this world. I'm blown away. Can't you know, for, even that like little bluish gray stuff on its neck. I mean, oh my gosh. Incredible. That is There's ridiculous. Yeah, you know me, I love arboreal reptiles. They call this the tree crocodile. Yep. I consider this absolutely the ultimate arboreal animal. Look at and look at that tail, that prehensile tail right there. Yeah, oh and, and, and it's it's a prehensile tail, and it's also one of the, the unique things about crocodile monitors is the tail length. It's about 210% of the animal's SVL, snout to Event length, okay. so it's got a very long tail. Rarely uses it defensively in captivity. These guys, there's a lot of just really unique things about these. Another fact that's really unique about crocodile monitors: the fact that they're able to breathe while they're running. No other reptile can do that. Only mammals can do that. Most other reptiles, when they move, it restricts their lungs from breathing. These guys, you know, not they not only are they just super intelligent. You know, prehensile tail can move fast, can hang from their rear legs, but they can, can breathe while they're chasing after their prey. And then those long, really, really sharp teeth that, uh, that they have that are unique to them as well, that's, that's for catching fast moving prey, so. Oh my gosh, these guys are truly the Velociraptor. I mean, that is crazy. Yeah, absolutely. And again, I've known a little bit about croc monitors, but I've learned a whole bunch, so I hope you guys are enjoying it too. What an amazing thing. Thank you for letting us share this experience. They think that this one's a male. Crocodile monitors can actually pair bond in captivity. So we're hoping that uh, we found Kilo uh, a mate for life. It's just gonna be an amazing experience. I mean, Kilo has already been the most ex amazing experience of, of my reptile keeping life. So this is, getting to do it all over again is just, doesn't even seem real. So this is a monitor that I'm really, really proud of. We raised this one up from a little captive born baby. This is Varanus Risingeri, the yellow tree monitor. And it's just beyond socialized. It walks right out onto your hand. It's uh, it's it's just incredible. You know, and it's, it's, it's something, you know, important to hit on too is that when you guys watch videos like this and you're like, I want one of those, and you go out and buy a tree monitor, don't be expecting this. Don't be expecting a, a croc monitor like this. It takes a ton of work, and then there's also the individuality factor, but when you do get an animal like that, there's nothing in the world that compares to it. The connection you have with them, being able to socialize with them and provide them their food and water every day, it's been the most fulfilling group of animals I've ever worked with. Check this out, guys. I mean, he's just hanging out. We'll get give her something to eat. There you go, good girl. She knows the difference between food though. See, look at that, the, the scent of that food's on my finger, but she's not gonna bite my finger. She knows the difference. Guys, I'm not kidding you. We've been just sitting here for the last like 20 minutes, letting this monitor just jump Come from person to person. It's crazy, it just like hangs out, and then it just jumps to the next person. Do it. Yeah. <laughs> wow. This is crazy. How many, how many people do you think done this? That's, I, it's, I have never seen anything like this. I've always liked croc monitors, but I wasn't sure if I ever really wanted one. I 
have to get a croc monitor now. It literally went from being like kind of scared when it first came out of the box to being literally like one of the tamest, most inquisitive animals I've ever seen. I'm blown away by this. Oh my gosh. Just giving you just giving yeah. little drinks. Yep. Oh she my gosh. Sits there and just like, Just a little socialization yeah. and kind of the process of feeding that Forrest goes through with his monitors. I mean, that's incredible, dude. It's favorite part of my day. Every day, just spending time with the lizards is, is so amazing. Oh my gosh. I'm jealous. I tell you what, I have, obviously I have my Elvis and Argamas and Toothless and stuff like that, but being around these guys, I, I don't know what to even say. And I'm telling you what, that croc monitor, next level next level. I've never seen anything like that. We've been showing different species of tree monitors. There's five species of tree monitors in the United States. Blue trees, green trees, bioc trees, black trees, and yellow trees. And we've got captive born pairs of all five. So it was a major effort to put that group together. <laughs> but as you can see, it's been really, really fulfilling. I mean, who would have thought captive born monitor sitting on my hand like this, not trying to run away and look at just, just feeding him right in my hand. I mean, once you build the trust, if, if you get the right individuals, being able to, to experience this is really amazing. And uh, the, this Varanus macrae, you know, fairly recently discovered species. These are from Batanta Island. All of these different tree monitors um, descend from a common ancestor. The green tree monitor, uh, Varanus prosinus, and they're all allopatric, so they've been separated for millions of years on these isolated little islands, and you can see how they've evolved into these amazing, you know, different colors. You've got the blue one from Batanta. Aru has the black tree monitor that's solid black. Misol Island, which is a very small island, has Varanus ricingeri. We talked about that in one of your old vlogs I remember telling you about the description of ricingeri. You know, there's still really exciting ones out there that are still being described right now. There's so many different islands in Indonesia. And then uh, one, one of my life dreams is to go with you to Australia and talk to Bob Irwin because he's one of the few people that has went out and worked with uh, Varanus Keithorn I, the Australian tree monitor. So that's one of my dreams in life is to actually get to see one of those. So. Well, well, we're gonna go September. Yeah. What do you yeah. say, September? Let's let's do Let, it. Let's do it. Taking a little break from the monitors out here. It's a nice warm day out here and uh, got the monster big blood python out. Dude, every time I see this girl, I swear she's getting bigger. Yeah, and, and I'm not feeding her. I mean, I feed her maybe once a month and people send me messages, oh, she's so obese. You can clearly see her spine, you know, oh which God. is kind of how she, you how you tell it. She uh, just looks like a giant. She yeah. doesn't look obese. She doesn't I mean, look like she's overfed. Look at that. I mean, yeah. you're, you're what, like six, four, six, five? Yeah, six, five, and I mean, look, oh, look at, at this right here. I mean, that she's, is, she's, yeah. she's longer than you. Yeah, literally. That it's, is uh, ridiculous. And she looks so good out here in the yeah. natural light. Oh my God, that is an impressive snake, dude. I tell you what, uh, you knew, you guys knew I was gonna throw some snakes in here. I can't just do yeah, lizards all do, day. Yeah, lizards are awesome, but we still love <laughs> our snakes, and it's just too nice of a day before we get on the road to not hang outside with Daniel Absolutely. a little bit. I love it, man. What a snake. This is what it looks like a year after getting a baby croc monitor. So you guys remember when we got Kilo, she was probably about twice that size, but still just a two month old hatchling. And uh, Kilo is still just absolutely amazing to, you know, she's, she definitely moves around a little. I just woke her up, so she's not super happy right now. But you know, once I just go in there and give her a chin rub and let her know what's going on, she's just a, an amazing girl to be able to work with. When you look at those eyes, they are so different than any other reptile. I mean, those things are like, that is exactly what you think of a dinosaur. It feels like they're sizing you up. They're super aware of, of what's going on around them. And uh, I, I definitely just, I, there's nothing like it. I've, I've never, never seen another reptile that can compare. I tell you, after spending as much time as we spent here with the baby and now this one, I, I'm sold. I, I have to get a little baby croc monitor. Yeah. Uh, Forrest is gonna have to hook me up with this because uh, I'm in. I'm, I, I mean, I've got no choice. This is ridiculous, guys. I, I'm in love with these guys. Ready to take a meal. You hungry yet? Good thing, buddy. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh. Are you kidding me right now? Absolutely incredible. Absolutely. This animal. This yeah. animal literally was in a box, got shipped here, came out, got played with these guys yeah. for what, an hour and a half or two hours, 
and then just takes something out of your hand. Yep, and it, it, it already knows the hand that feeds it versus the prey item. Look at that. I mean, that's oh. the same finger that was just touching the prey item. And he's not going, he he understands that difference. I mean, that's oh my God. that's how incredible these guys are. I, I don't even know what else. I'm blown away, guys. I mean, I, that, that I did not expect that. Yeah, I, mean, I thought for sure yeah. it was not gonna eat. Yeah. That was crazy. Oh my, I tell you what, even after all these decades of doing reptiles, it's obvious that I can still be completely exacerbated by something. Wow, I, I, I wanna end the vlog. That's how much I'm just blown away right now. But we got a couple <laughs> where, where, where else can we go from here? <laughs> where can we go from here? But guys, I tell you what, I, I think I'm gonna end it because that's all we need to do. Me and Sporus are getting on the road. We're going to Boa File. It's gonna be absolutely incredible. Uh, you guys have an amazing day. And tell me in the comments what you guys think about this. Unbelievable. Obviously, I'll put the link in the description to everyone's Instagrams, including Steve, Desiree, of course, Forrest. Don, you got an Instagram? I have a YouTube, DCI Exotic. DX, all right, I'll put a link in everyone's description. Uh, be kind to someone, I'll see you guys tomorrow.